Hello everyone, welcome to the Michigan Referee Committee's inaugural the video of the week. In this new video series, we're going to have two things that are going to be different. The first is my t-shirt. It's no longer gray, now it's black. The title has also changed from weekly video to video of the week. We will have a few things that will remain the same in addition to my enthusiasm. One is the background. And more importantly, the second piece is the format. Every week, you will see a short video of two to three minutes, and you will learn something about officiating. So let's get into it. Here is the first video. In this video, it's difficult to see if the attacker was onside or offside. So let's just assume that he was offside. This offside player gets challenged in the penalty area. A foul occurs. A big question for you is, did the offside offense occur first? Or did the foul occur first? Remember that a player who is in offside position should not be penalized for being in an offside position. Offside is penalized when offside offense actually happens. So did offside happen here? The answer is yes, offside happened here, therefore the restart is going to be indirect free kick coming out. But what's important here is not just the what's the correct outcome here. We would like you to remember that when offside and a foul happen around the same time, we need to know which happened first. It's critical to understand that if one happened before the other, then the risk that will be very different. So in this situation, because offside happened first, the correct restart would be indirect free kick coming out to penalize the offside offense. 